For more than 500 years, the angelic voices of the Vienna Boys Choir have captivated music lovers around the world. This renowned choral ensemble continues to sing every Sunday in the Imperial Chapel of the Hofburg Palace in Vienna, a tradition unbroken since Emperor Maximilian I laid the foundation for the choir in 1498. In May 2000, the Vienna Boys Choir recorded important works of American Jewish music for the Milken Archive. Beneath the crystal chandelier of the Zögernitz Ballroom, where Johann Strauss used to give weekly concerts, the Vienna Boys Choir, under the direction of Gerard Wirth, performed the Israel Suite by Max Helfmann. The Vienna Boys Choir is a full-fledged school. It's a boarding school. They're housed and taught and rehearsed uh, at a building called the Augarten Palais, wonderful old treasure of pre-20th century Vienna. We have a kindergarten and we have a primary school, but during that time they don't sing in the choir. This is just, just for practice. And at the age of 10, they enter the uh, choir which is going on tour. And from that time they are here to study and to live and to sing and to go on tour. We sing in the opera, in the States Opera of Vienna or in the uh, Hofburg of Vienna. Maybe, um, for example, Carmen or Tosca. And we sing in each um, con concert house of Vienna. <laughs> I think the Vienna Boys Choir was one of the peaks of our European recordings, certainly and probably of all of our recordings, because here was a chorus that is so old in terms of its organization, I mean its establishment, its hundreds of years, and yet this was the first time that they sang Hebrew liturgical music for recording and uh, enjoyed it immensely. The Israel Suite was newly orchestrated by one of Helfman's former students, cantor Charles Davidson, and was performed by the famous Vienna Chamber Orchestra. for Charles was privilege for us to do it. I think the Vienna Boys Choir did it justice many, many times over. It was really, really thrilling. Abraham Kaplan's Psalms of Abraham was newly arranged by the composer to feature the Vienna Boys Choir together with a choir of former members of the Vienna Boys Choir known as the Chorus Vienensis. Shimon Kramer from London was the soloist. The chorus Vienensis is 40 or 50 men going up through their mid-60s who all were once boy choristers in the Zengerknaben, the alumni of the Vienna Boys Choir. Cantor Joseph Malovani of New York's Fifth Avenue Synagogue joined the Chorus Vienensis to make an extraordinary recording of Leo Lowe's Min HaMeitzar, a piece originally composed for a concert featuring 200 cantors. They were so enthralled with this music that when the session ended, they said, 
could we could we stay and record one more piece? Well, I, I don't think that's ever happened. Confirming its commitment to American Jewish music, the Vienna Boys Choir has integrated selections from the Milken Archive recordings into its international touring repertoire.